Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're coming to us from today. Uh, we're gonna wait a few minutes, let everyone load in, and we are very, very happy you're here with us today. It's, it's Women Power Tuesday on our iSpot Chats with Product Pros. Well, good afternoon, hello, and welcome to another edition of the iSpot Chats with Product Pro Series. This is our third installment in the series, and we're so glad that you're here with us today as we explore innovative new products, adaptations, and reopening ideas from iSpa's resource partner community. We have a wonderful group of panelists today. It's our first, it's an all women-led panel today, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and today's focus is going to be on products with health benefits and a focus on well-being. Our panelists are going to introduce themselves to you in just a moment, but I wanted to first do a few housekeeping items. So please use your chat function to ask questions. We do rely on your questions to help fuel this conversation. Also, if you're on Facebook Live, send your questions through also. We do record the session, so if you have to go back and listen again or you have a friend who would benefit from today's information. We'll have this on YouTube and also on Facebook Live. And lastly, because our panelists come from different companies that offer different products and services, their insights and observations will differ. And that's a strength for us. We love the diversity of opinion because it benefits our discussions here today. Um, and we encourage you to use these ideas presented here in a way that's most useful to your spa and to your situation. So without further ado, we're going to start. I'm going to come to you first, Pam. Um, so as we've gathered feedback from spas that have reopened, there has been a wealth of positive feedback relating to retail sales. When looking at products that have been in high demand, those with a focus on health benefits and well-being stood out. So Pam, let's start our conversation today by having you share what's new in your product lineup that falls into the category of health and well-being. Well, thank you, Patrick. Um, I am Pam Stolthorpe, and I'm the owner and CEO of Body Bliss. Um, because Body Bliss's primary uh, being, reason for being is all about aromatherapy, uh, we incorporate, uh, incorporate aromatherapy into all of our products. So that's first and foremost, and there's well-documented document, benefits to using aromatherapy. Um, but specifically, once COVID happened, uh, we marched into the, the hand sanitizer route, like a lot of people did. Um, so we developed our own, um, keeping with aromatherapy in one of them, although we do offer an unscented version. Um, we also offer it to our um, spa partners who private label, so they can do their own with their own scent, which is kind of nice. And then the other thing that we, a fairly new product, um, but it's been out for a couple of months is our CBD line. And um, there's well-documented evidence now of the benefits of CBD and the, the um, essential oils that we chose to do that um, connect well with, this, with your system to actually incorporate the CBD benefits even better. So that's kind of what we've been doing. That's great, thank you. You know, I love, I love that the skincare lines have really stepped up 
to provide that luxury experience, even for hand sanitizer and hand washing, so that we move out of that retail sphere into that luxury experiential fear, a sphere and still keep people safe. So, so thank you for that, Pam. That's great, thank you. Becky, you're next. So what's happening at Farmhouse Fresh? How's the farm in Dallas? <laughs> Hi, Patrick. Um, my Hello. name is Becky Beal. I'm with Farmhouse Fresh. Um, I first want to tell you all I really appreciate being a part of this panel and, of course, the iSpa community. Um, and I'm excited to share with you guys our high bio hemp collection on the farm. Um, it really is a great. Um, uh, solution for creating homeostasis within the body. Um, you can see it being infused in treatments and menus across the country um, because it's the best way to enhance um, the traditional benefits of massage, um, including increasing circulation, detoxification, and stress reduction. And don't we all need um, more stress reduction um, during this pandemic? So we've been kind of forced to slow down as a country, but we really need to learn to relax with intention. And I feel uh, our high bio hemp collection really helps to do this. We use a gene uh, genetically superior seed um, that is Kentucky grown. We use full plant spectrum extracts. So we're using all 400 phytonutrients from the hemp plant, not only just the CBD oil that's extracted from the seed. And then of course, we're using pharmaceutical grade encapsulation for faster and higher absorption, which is what we need. We want our CBD to work. Um, the best way it possibly can. So you really need that encapsulation. So um, yeah, but we're really excited about this line and we've um, incorporated it um, in our add-on menus and many of our treatments, even our larger resorts that some of them maybe the therapists aren't allowed yet to topically use CBD, we've come up with self-guided rituals for them. So they um, give the product to the client and then they go from the steam room to the infrared sauna or whatever the amenities are at the spa and use it themselves. So we're really working with custom high bio hemp treatments with them to, uh, so they can incorporate no matter um, what their rules and regulations are. Is it available in skin care and body care, or is it strictly focused in, in body care? It's in skin care too. So on, on your face, this is going to act as an antioxidant. It's going to help um, reduce redness, inflammation, um, and a lot like an, you know, it's very much anti-aging. So yeah, and we have full farmhouse fresh high bio hemp uh, facials that uh, or to die for, <laughs> we might, which wonderful. is much needed again, like I said, during these times. <laughs> it really is, it really is. Thank you so much, Becky, we appreciate that. Erica, Erica, my new friend, our new friend here on, on, on the chat, tell us about your company and your yes. products that relate to, to health and well-being. Absolutely. Uh, so my name is Erica Keen. I'm the VP of Sales for Hemfield Botanicals. Um, Hemfield Botanicals is a sister company of Make Sense Natural Spa Line. So we have been manufacturing our vegan, natural, certified cruelty-free um, in our CGMP certified facility actually for a little over 10 years now. Um, Hempfield Botanical is um, our new sister brand that has been around for just about two years now. So I'm here to share that with you today. Um, I would say that our newest products would be our Herbaceous Hemp Body Butter and Body Scrub. These products have allowed our spa partners to expand on their menu offerings. Um, it kind of goes outside the spectrum from just massage, um, still a topical application. Where this product can be truly unique is, um, and pa uh, Becky, I'm sorry, I did touch on this. Not all spas are able to bring in CBD products at this time, um, different you know, brand statuses and so. So the herbaceous hemp butter and scrub are actually just derived from the hemp seed oil, other natural essential oils like black pepper, lime, rosemary, and sweet basil. So these products not only allow them to offer a hemp-based 
health benefit to their guests and it also has a retail component. So it kind of gets us around that no CBD allowed on the property um, and it allows you know all spas to be a part of the movement and to allow their guests access to this product that aside from the CBD and the amazing benefits it has you know the hemp plant itself has as Becky said a lot of amazing um, components to it. So those would be our new products. Um, I will say though, our hero products would be our muscle recovery and our salve, and those continue to be the most retail successful um, generating products that we offer. It's, it's once they use it, they love the way it smells, they love the way it makes them feel, whether it's arthritis or post-workout for our athletes. And, Honestly, those have been the most successful products um, in our lineup. I think that's great. I, and I think it's great to see how CBD and hemp have really taken the spa industry kind of by storm. Um, Definitely. I I nervous about it a couple of years ago, three or four years ago when it first started really coming onto the scene. But I, I think it's really, I think it's very telling how as, as leaders in the industry of products that you guys have been able to really educate our, our associates, our, our therapists, the public about the benefits of hemp and CBD. So I think it's, it's a very interesting journey. And I think I bring that piece up because I think as we continue to understand how this pandemic and, and COVID impact our businesses on the operator side and on the resource partner side, the ability to educate and use fact and to use science to back up what we're talking about will only help us all be very successful in our businesses as we move forward. So, so Becky, thank you so, so Erica, thank you so much for that. Um, so then, our dear friend from Sotis, um, what's Hi, happening? Patrick. Yeah. Hi, Patrick. Oh, Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for having us today on the, the Zoom meeting. Um, so I am Solène Briand and I'm in charge of the education for Sotis USA. Uh, so today I really wanted to talk about First, one product and collection, I will say, from the uh, facial line, and then one from the body also. Uh, so from the facial line, we do have a collection, it's a beautiful collection that actually uh, work into like pollution. And we know that the pollution is now the number one of your advanced enemy for our health. So it's been very important for us to launch this collection uh, actually last year. Uh, because the pollution is everywhere. It's from like outdoor pollution, but also like indoor pollution. So the research in France, actually they research for four years and a half around some powerful ingredient that we can find inside a, a collection. So we suggest we will have a professional treatment to do in a treatment room, but also like some retail product for our client to carry it to. Uh, one of the ingredients that we made a lot of research on and is very effective on this collection this is the organic edelberry, who actually protect uh, the, the skin against the pollution of 92%. And uh, we're also going to have two more ingredients on this collection that were very impactful. This is the Siberian ginseng. Uh, we're working to boost the cells energy of 99%. When they're slowing down, we all the time need like a, some boosting effect. And we also have a peptide. Uh, because if you're familiar with Sotis, Sotis is a brand with nature, but also a combination of science, so we're taking the best of it. And the peptide is an action uh, similar a little bit as the green tea for detoxification action. And I really want to uh, talk a little bit more also about one of our newest uh, collection for the body. And this is very, very connected to wellness. And this is so important right now, as we mentioned just before, we get you know, a lot of stress, like anxiety. And I think this is a beautiful invitation of travel that Sotis launches. So it's called Indonesia. So it's Indonesia uh, in English. So Indonesia body treatment, it's actually uh, a, a body treatment for connecting the mind, the body, and the spirit. So when we are receiving this treatment, uh, first, as a guest experiences, before the treatment, we're going to do like some breathing exercise uh, just to make sure that the client is well relaxed before she's getting into our treatment. But on the same time, it's also good for the practitioner because uh, this practice of breathing ex exercise, it's also for the practitioner to connect with the guest and do it with the guest. 
So I really think this is a great, great moment, you know, to having like uh, this treatment inside our treatment room. And as always, we connected with retail products also for the client to uh, have the experience at home. And uh, I was just gonna add uh, about the fragrance. So on this body treatment, we'll have the jasmine flower, who has like calming uh, effect. And then we also have the sandalwood and the sandalwood in Indonesia, uh, it's well known for meditation. So it's very like stress-free, anxiety-free. I love that, I love that, I, I love that. So you were talking about the skincare being pollution fighting, which I think is a very interesting concept. We're spending so much time in our homes now that we also have pollution indoors that we have to address. It's not just those external aggressors that impact the skin. Um, organic edelberry sounds like a very interesting and new ingredient. Um, and then the spirulina and green tea sounds lovely. And the, the Indo go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry, Celine, go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I just wanted to say uh, the second one is the Siberian ginseng and then the, the peptide. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The body treatments, I love how all of your body treatments are really talking about slowing things down for people and really taking people. I know Pam was talking about the aromatherapy journey and all of you thus far have talked about that sense of bringing in scent and aroma to slow people down. So that could be a, another interesting trend that emerges out of this current time when we've all been sort of forced to slow down, that we're bringing that element into the actual treatment rooms around the idea of, of scent and hemp and CBD and these very sort of or organic types of ingredients, which is pretty, pretty fantastic. So, so thank you for that, Celine. Yeah. Carol from Babor. We should be in Hi, Germany. Patrick. Yes, Hello. yes, that, that would be lovely right now for the summer in Germany. Hello. Yes. And First of all, let us thank you, Patrick, for doing an amazing job with the chats and the, oh, the town halls that you've been hosting, yourself and Ice Bar, phenomenal job through the crisis, of course, but of course, before that as well. So thank you. Thank you for all your efforts. Um, so yes, I'm Caroline Rushworth, a Director of Education um, with Babo. Um, for those of you who don't know Babo, we were founded by biochemist Dr. Mike Babo back in 1956. And we are a, um, of course, made in Germany. Um, we are a family owned and operated company now in third generation. And we are the number one professional skincare brand in Europe. Um, I think probably most of you will know that we were the pioneer of the Ampule and now the, the world's largest producer of the Ampule as well. And of course, known for our precision formulas, delivering products that are quality, and of course, deliver the results, the exceptional results um, that every guest wants and our service providers demand as well. So wellness um, and uh, skin health or health and wellness is, is not new to Babor at all. Um, we have our Babor expert method, which is five signature elements in every treatment that we offer that work with the physiology of the skin. It works on a deeper level of the skin. And not only does it give the guests the ultimate experience, it is also stimulating circulation and metabolism for a healthy skin. And of course, we incorporate techniques for body as well. But what I did want to talk about was our brand new launch this um, month, just a couple of weeks ago, is our new Dr. Babo Clean Performance Collection. This is our new clean cosmeceutical collection. Um, of retail home care products and two treatments for the spa. And it features clean beauty, natural derived ingredients, and of course the formulations that everybody expects from Dr. Babo. It's free from those ingredients such as parabens, of course, sulfates, mineral oil, gluten-free, um, oh, so many things free of the Dirty Dozen, of the Green Spa Network, we answer all of that. Um, of course, vegan. And why is it good for the health of the skin? Because the key ingredient throughout that I want to talk about is the pre and probiotics. And pre and probiotics in each one of the products help maintain the, the skin health, the balance of the skin. So it, it really helps the, the microbiome, if you're familiar with that. So the good, okay, the good bacteria to generate the health of the skin. If our microbiome, if the, the good bacteria is lacking, you may have breakouts, sensitivity, redness, irritation. It can also, it's also been shown for um, conditions like atopic dermatitis and eczema if the microbiome is off. 
So this collection is for healthy, radiant skin. And it's for all skin types and it, it's just an amazing collection. Of course, synthetic fragrance and color free, but the products smell so zen and spa-like and the treatment is exceptional. Very easy to perform, but exceptional in terms of results um, and guest experience. I want to say something, highlight something that you just said that again, was consistent amongst all of you, which is the, the, the focus on not only efficacious products for the face and body, but also products that are cruelty-free, um, that are really manufactured with integrity. Um, I, think, I think those are gonna become really even more important in the world that we're moving into where the focus is going to really be on health. So I think that's a really important message that you guys organically sort of all put together is that you know how we formulate what we put on people's bodies and their faces, it's really important. And they may not have asked before, but they will ask now as we move forward. Caroline, I also want to have you speak briefly on the Bobor Feeding America initiative. I think it's a great initiative, so I would love for you to speak to that. Of course. And that uh, with Caroline, the of Caroline, can you can you please say the name again of the new Dr. Babor line? Uh, it's Clean Formance. Clean Formance. So clean beauty with performance results. Clean formance. clean formance. Thank you. So please back to the Feeding America initiative. This is a great initiative. So Feeding America is, a, is an initiative um, that, that we launched a couple of weeks ago, and it's just something that the, the entire company got behind. So um, basically for any products um, sold, uh, we are offering 15% discount to um, our consumers out there purchasing before products through our website and through the affiliate program. And then we are donating 15% um, to the Feed in America project. And actually tomorrow, um, myself, Lisa Heinemann, Director of Sales, and two of our colleagues, we will be going to support locally our local Feed in America um, bank, where we'll be there with um, the groundwork up, really helping in the food distribution center. So it's not just a verbal action. We're all in there, all of our, part, um, sorry, all of our colleagues around the country, both North America, um, both Canada and the US, we are all participating in um, projects like Feed in America or other to give back because it's so important right now. I think, thank you. Thank you so much for that. And I'm sure all of you are doing, I know Farmhouse Fresh works a lot in the sphere with animal cruelty. So I know each of your, your companies has those types of initiatives, which we, we really appreciate um, and need right now. So Pam, I wanna come back to you. Um, I want to know what creative adjustments your company has made to support your spa partners as they've gone through both closures and reopening and closing again and reopening. So how, are, how is your company creatively supporting your spa partners? Um, several different ways. <clears throat> we, well, one thing in particular uh, with closures, it's been difficult to even get in touch with some of our partners. So we're doing our best to reach out on a regular basis. Um, and trying to be proactive about what their needs are so that we can make sure that we're prepared to be able to get them to them whenever they're ready to open. Um, we have offered some opening or reopening discounts to help that because we do realize that everybody's been a little tight with finances because of all of this. Um, one thing that's interesting is uh, we're always looking at new ways and new products that can, that can help the, the community. And, through the town halls that you've already been hosting, uh, we've been listening a lot to what the customers want. And it's interesting, um, one of the things that Body Bliss does uh, and we do as private label for quite a few of our customers is we do um, amenity products. So the, the shampoo, conditioner, body wash and lotion and, and other things, um, a lot of them have been in those wonderful little two ounce bottles um, that California has, has now decided need to go away in a couple of years. Um, and it's the right thing to do. Um, so we've been trying to, to convert our customers into larger format refillable containers. Uh, the challenge with COVID is now that some of the feedback is, is people don't wanna have to sanitize those and assure that they have been cleaned. So we're now working on developing single use amenity products with packaging that will basically just go away when you use it. So there's nothing to be thrown away it's all single use. 
um, and it doesn't have to be um, sanitized. It's all individually wrapped and whatever. So that's one of the ways that we've been listening to the customers saying we need an, we never we need another option. And in trying to keep up with green efforts, we're also trying to make sure that we're not throwing product away. So hopefully we're going to have that ready to launch in a couple of months. This is this is fantastic. Kelly Martin just commented, "Love that Pam." <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> but you know, I, I think it's so true. I think, you know, I was having a conversation with Noel Asmar about how we have made such strides to reduce our footprint in the luxury spa business. And then COVID comes along and it looks like we're going to have to expand our footprint again. So to hear you coming up with the, this type of single use amenity, I think it's a wonderful direction. And maybe you're trailblazing the way for other um, resource partners to follow suit to come up with really creative ideas. Um, to help to help us so that we are not, you know, damaging the earth. Um, so that, I love that. That's fantastic. Thank you for that. That's wonderful. It, uh, it is, if, if I can say, it's been interesting with COVID. I mean, I've got great staff to begin with anyway, but they're all very creative. And this has forced so many, just the creative juices and the ideas and the possibilities. It's how do we even capture, which, which is the next one, which is, you know, instead of trying to do everything all at the same time. So um, it, it is got our creative juices flowing and it's, we've got a lot of great ideas that we're working on. So, yeah. That's awesome. You know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, what does Shakespeare say through adversity to the stars? So through this really difficult time, we don't know what fantastic things that we as an industry will create to address our guest needs and the needs of maintaining a, a, a reasonable footprint on the planet. So I, I think that's, I think that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Erica, same question for you. How are you guys creatively helping your partners who've had to open and um, shut down and reopen and possibly shut down again? Yes, um, so we do not have a minimum requirement um, for an opening order or reorders. However, we do sell things in case packs. So what we've come up with are what we're calling our reset kits. It allows um, our spa partners to kind of mix and match, so to speak, so they can have the full brand represented from the oral oils to the topical, the massage, um, as well as our facial line. Um, so this has been very well received and people are actually very grateful. Um, we do offer a discount with certain reset kits that we have uh, bundled together um, for some of our larger spas and so forth. So that's one way that we have tried so hard to help um, all of our spa partners and honestly, I don't find myself really saying no to too much right now because I feel like they're dealing with enough and all that they have to tackle to reopen. So if I can make their day a little bit easier by making an exception here or there during this challenging time, um, I, have a pro I don't have a problem doing that. So um, to offset that, we've also done so much education during this time, really utilizing uh, platforms such as Zoom. Um, we have a wonderful slideshow that we share with our um, team members, just like iSpa does. We've been recording the sessions. So if team members for some reason can't make that scheduled call, they can go back and um, look through the, the training that they missed. Um, an additional thing we love to do is, of course, leave the end of any training session up for Q&As. And the slideshows that we share ahead of time have sections for all of the therapists and SDs to take notes so at the end they don't you know forget any of those important facts because with CBD there's so many different facets of it from the um, you know CBD itself to the terpenes and all that goes into that um, so and then of course we're always trying to share uh, education with them in different PDF formats or um, ideas for them in their cost per service protocols. Anything we can do to make their job easier is really what we're trying to accomplish right now for all of our spot partners. Erica, I want to thank you for the education piece that you brought up because it has been, for my fellow spot directors around the globe, it has been a way that we keep in contact with our, our, our teams while we're on furlough or while we're waiting to reopen. And that education piece for the service providers has really been that bridge that's kept us connected. So I, I think it's great that you've been providing that level of education for your partner. That's a fantastic creative benefit for, for those who, who carry your line. Thank you for that. 
Thank you. I, I think it's great that when the therapists and the estheticians love the products they represent, that shines through. Um, it's not even, you would even call it an upsell at that point. They're just really speaking from their hearts. And when they know what is behind the products, I really think they feel more confident. And at the end of the day, that benefits the spa as well. So we're happy to do that. Love education. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, that's music to every spa director's ears. Yes. Caroline, I would love to hear about what Dr. Babor is up to on the, on the creative front with helping your, your partners. Absolutely. Um, I do just want to, to say one thing, Patrick, when you were talking with Pam and yourself about um, the carbon footprint and um, you know, how it really has with everything being disposable. But I did want to um, announce that in January of this year, Babo is now a climate neutral. So not only carbon neutral, but we are now climate neutral. That is everything from harvesting the ingredients to the delivery of the ingredients to our production, the actual production facility, the packaging, and the distribution and delivery of the products to um, our spas, et cetera, too. So climate neutral. So that I thought was really relevant. I wanted to bring that up. So to answer your question, um, well, first of all, we maintained our full team um, throughout the whole crisis. And we thought that was incredibly important to, to maintain everybody from customer care to through education, sales, marketing, to be there when our spas needed us. And just like Eric was saying, to be able to deliver education in the downtime, to be able to give marketing and creative marketing ideas, to be able to, to help develop business plans for them. So that was the first thing that we did to maintain that exceptional level of support that we offer all of our partners. What we also did was reach out to all of our partners to share the benefits and the value of our affiliate program. We've had that for about three years, but not so many people were, of our partners were, were um, or fully understood it. So we reached out and, and what that was, was we made it very simple for them to, to add a shop um, shop bubble um, link on their website or social media and it was so easy because we do all of the all of the shopping the buying purchasing everything is done through our site but we actually waived our fulfillment fee which is very small it's only 15 percent usually we waived that to ensure that the spa got the full margins on the product so that was really helpful because we know product sales have increased online. So that really helped our spas have revenue even though they had the doors closed. In addition, what we did was we created a um, voucher program, a gift certificate to drive the consumers back into the spas when they opened. So anybody, any consumer purchasing bubble products on our website or um, social media or through the affiliate, received a $20 gift certificate to redeem in our spa partners for um, a babor treatment. And this has been extremely successful. Um, we've given guidance for our partners how to promote it. Um, and it really is helping get those customers back into the spas. And of course, every client, every customer um, guest that redeems the voucher, we then credit our spa partner um, with cold hard cash, which again, really helps them. I think one thing that you've said that's really powerful, oftentimes we ask, well, what's going to happen post-COVID? You know, if we all have crystal balls and can see the future. But I, one thing that I do believe is, is really important is what you just talked about, an affiliate program and almost a concierge service program for your, your accounts so that the guests have that ease of being able to reorder online through Dr. Babor and then allow the spas to have that credit and show that yes as revenue on their PL statements, which is Absolutely. huge. And that to, me, that to me, I think is gonna be a direction that we continue to see, particularly as over the next couple of years as we recover, budgets may be stressed. And to have a, a lower balance sheet of product that you're sitting on in terms of your operation um, can help cash flow quite a bit in operations and still seeing the benefit of, of our guests going to your websites to, to purchase products. I think it's a very smart idea. Um, and I'm sure the really smart resource partners have, are working on that type of program now because that's, that to me is going to be a, a, staying, a staying piece from, from this time. So I think it's great that you guys have done that, Caroline. We've actually opened, Patrick, a few new partners as well during the lockdown. And they've been able to place relatively small orders just for professional to get them ready for reopening. 
with the retail they've kept small because they can just sign up to our affiliate in these challenging times until they can have the budget to, to um, take on a larger collection of products. So yeah, we've been delighted to open new accounts and new partners during this time. It, it's really positive and inspiring to us. I don't, you know, I don't, and I don't think we on the operation side say it enough, but to say thank you to our resource partners who really are the glue to this industry. Um, and I, I, th I think the five of you demonstrate that. So I'm saying it on behalf of the industry. <laughs> thank you so much because it really helps us. It helps us in the day-to-day -day make our operations work. And I, I think, you know, we're, we're in partnership like this, right? And I think we've experienced that now more than ever. So Becky, I'm gonna to come to you, Becky, on the same question about creativity in terms of how you're supporting your spa partners at this particular moment. Yeah, sure. We're offering um, to all of our accounts drop shipping, um, which sends profits back to the spa, which has been extremely successful um, with all of our accounts, especially our smaller accounts, our independents, just keeping them afloat during the pandemic. Um, we've also offered um, reopening webinars um, with um, guideline packets and special packets for them with checkoff list for their reopening. And then we've been very active on social media doing multiple live shows weekly, um, which has been super fun for everybody involved. Our, uh, we see a lot of our accounts on there, obviously, and consumers, but um, it's just helping keeping us engaged. And then Patrick, just good old fashioned communication in this digital world. We forget about picking up the telephone. So that has been um, one of the things that we do, just picking it, you know, just calling my accounts and saying, hey, how are you doing? What can I do for you? Um, and sometimes it's just a simple text that day too. And um, uh, letting them talk about, you know, how, um, you know, how things are going on there and, and helping them out that way, so. In terms of good old communication, Becky, <laughs> when do you plan, what is your plan for going live into training again, into, into accounts? Do you have a timeline for that? Are you, how are you preparing for that, that eventuality? Well, it, it's kind of been a day-to-day -day process as um, things change daily. Um, you know, I'm a regional educator, educator so here in Florida, um, we reopened pretty fast. And um, so at one point, um, we were going to go back out, but it looks like now um, we may put this on hold. Um, but we're offering Zoom trainings to all of our accounts that we do it, which, you know, as you guys know, with Zoom, you could do multiple Zoom trainings a day where an on-site training, you could probably only do two. So, um, and then we do offer a online certification program with Farmhouse Fresh, which has been really successful. Um, while the therapists are sitting at home, if they're furloughed or something, um, and just keeping them engaged. So when they're ready to go back to the spa, they're full of that information. And then of course we send them a few goodies along the way too. So, um, but all these programs have been really successful, but we hope to get out as soon as possible. Um, if not just for a, a stop in, you know, with my mask on, of course. <laughs> with, with your mask on, yeah. yes. And, and we'll probably take your temperature when you come in the door too. So just be oh. ready. Uh, that's well I have my own temperature uh, in my bag my own gun in my bag temperature gun so it's ready you know, and, and what's so great about the conversation is that now we can kind of laugh about taking temperatures because it's become such a part of our daily life I went to a music store yesterday and they took my temperature and I, I didn't even think about it I was like of course you did so I, I love that we've normalized these things that in the beginning felt very awkward to us and so I think that's a really great message that we're gonna survive this and we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out as an industry and as partners together. So thank you for that, Becky. So then I come to you and so tease, how, how are you creatively helping, helping your partners? Absolutely. Uh, so the first thing about Sotis is we are not considering ourselves uh, as a brand, but more as a family. So when we're saying as a family, it's here, the entire team and Sotis USA, but also through our spa partner uh, that we have all over America. 
And as uh, Caroline also like mentioned before, uh, we uh, maintain all our staff during the whole lockdown period to have a real support for our spa partner. So we create a few class uh, which are like 100% like support about our account. So we did like education class, but also like marketing class uh, for help you know, our spa partner, some retail class that we did also, and really like help them and support them on how to prepare the reopening. Because the time that we were locked down, it was the time to prepare, you know, for the after. And, you know, it's kind of a role because now we are a little bit back to lockdown, but as much as we can uh, follow up with them. And uh, human relation, it's really one of our values. So we did also uh, one to one customized support. So each uh, representative, local representative, were re reaching out uh, to their uh, local accounts to know exactly what their needs uh, are, you know, to support them as much as uh, we could during this whole uh, process. Instead of that, uh, also, what we did, we created also the uh, job shipping program. So the drop drop shipping program, I mean, she she just like talk uh, about it, uh, but that really helped you know our accounts because during the this whole time they can generate profits, but on the same time they don't have, you know, they don't have the inventory cost or working on that. So we it's been like a very uh, a great thing for us. It was working really uh, like, like a lot. And then uh, also for the reopening. So we've been like very creative for the reopening and, you know, think about, okay, what our industry is coming, you know, after. Are we going to come back exactly the same way as we, we were before? Uh, so we've been like working very hard to uh, first creating, you know, new protocol, uh, new protocol or adjust our protocols. So uh, let's say, for example, we create some protocol with, less contact with the, the customer and more massage with like a specific porcelain spoon, which is one of our uh, beautiful accessories that we are using it during a few of our facial treatments. So we adapt our protocol for that. Uh, we also create like some unbox. So for the client to be able to do like some treatment at home and, you know, to having fun at home because you know, during this all time, some of the clients, they want to come back to the spa. Some of them, they don't want to come back yet. So we really want to help also our spa partner to, seek, uh, to still make profit from it. And uh, one of our uh, very, very good, um, I would say like creation, and we had a lot of great feedback from it. We create uh, an interactive experiences for our guests. So. I'm going to explain that a little bit more. This is the concept of a self-made facial. So some of the clients, they're not ready to come back directly to the spa, you know, to get uh, the hands-on practice, but they still want to relax and they still want to have this experience of the spa. So we create a self-facial um, that the clients are able to do it inside the spa if they want. So the spa can have like um, a room when they're designing only for self facial, where they're putting like, you know, specific lighting and specific like music. And we have like um, a recording, you know, video of, of um, how do you say that? It's like um, a real time facial where uh, we are showing exactly how to do the facial for our guests. So it's very interactive on the same time we're showing which product she can use, how to use it. And she's doing the massage and all the movements exactly on the same time than, uh, than the screen. But on a, they're all the environment of the spa, all the music, all the lights. So it's really like another experience. That's fantastic. That's really a fantastic, very innovative. Because we, we talk about this being an innovative forum for, for you all to come forward and talk about what you're innovating. And I think, you know, spas have really embraced the concept of self-guided body treatments. That's a very popular thing that's happening right now. But the idea of a self-guided facial, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's, that's innovative. I'm going to say that's innovative. <laughs> At first I was like, oh my goodness, my revenue. But I think it's a really interesting concept. That's a very, yeah. very interesting concept. Uh, very and that can be also really like inside the spa. So it's still making, you know, profit for, uh, for the spa. 
but for the client who are not ready to come back you know, to the room, that's an, uh, an opportunity for that. We have to meet the guests where they are. And I, I, I think that's, that's one thing we've learned where, you know, we have to meet the guests where they are today from an operational standpoint, from a product standpoint. And if that, if that guest is not ready for that level of contact, but they still want the care and concern for their skin, why not have that available? Absolutely. It's a really smart concept. Thank you for sharing that. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. I'm like, how can I do that <laughs> at my spas? No, it's, it's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I want to I want to come to you, Pam, on this question. I know you work with a lot of different and varied types of um, spa providers and service providers. What is your best product tip on a professional side and on the retail side for your spa partners? Um, okay, thank you. And before this ends, I do want to thank you. I, I I find it intriguing just listening to the content that you add to the conversation. So thank you for your efforts as well. Um, and I've, I'm also, as I'm listening to the other uh, partners here, the ideas are all very similar. I mean, I almost feel like you guys have all set me up for some of my answers that are coming up right now. Um, we, uh, when this all first started happening, we did um, set up a drop ship program so that we can help our partners out as well. Um, and we also, we've, and we've always um, offered little spa kits and we've come up with those as well. And I think it was, um, um, I don't remember who now, but started the whole idea of spa at home. So we have a couple of ideas out there to do spa at home. And our own facial line, which is pretty small in comparison to, to my, my compatriots out there, um, but it, it is set up. Um, it was set up to do a full, a full spa treatment uh, in a spa, but you can get the smaller sample sizes and actually do those at home as, as well. And it's not quite as fulfilling as having somebody else give you a facial. But um, And the other thing um, for Body Bliss, um, for those of you who are familiar, we our Aroma Design Bar is a, is a very popular item. Um, it's used well in treatment and for retail. So I think a lot of, a lot of the, the people who have it primarily try to focus on spa treatments, um, but it's great in a retail setting as well. And, and even, and the nice thing about it is, is, you know, to go back to somebody else had mentioned something about um, personalizing things. That's the whole idea behind the Aroma Design Bar is to personalize a, a, a blend for your treatment for that day. Um, and it's nice that depending on the product that you blend it into, you can actually send your, your, your customer, your client home with some of that leftover product, which is a nice way to remember that treatment that they had. So, yeah. And I have to say the, the, the aroma bar that you all have created at Body Bliss is, is spectacular. Oh, and, I, thank you. I, and I appreciate you talking about that retail opportunity because we will have guests who are afraid to come back and, but they, they may still want to have that kind of experience at home and to be able to come in and still have that blending happening right in front of them. They see it happening. It's safe. It's clean. They know where that ingredient, those ingredients have come from. I think it's, it's a really, a really, a really special thing to offer someone. Um, and, and it's meeting the guests where they are. That's what we're going to have to do now that we have to dance to their tuning at this point, Right. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's a great, that's a great tip. Eric? And thank you for that oh. sales, sales promo. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Erica, with you guys, what's your product tip, either on the retail or professional side or, or both for, for your spa partners? Um, I would say it's kind of twofold. Uh, we are very lucky. The owners of our company are actually both their own licensed massage therapist, an esthetician, and an RN. So, um, we are lucky in the fact that Heather, one of the co-owners, has written several educational articles when it comes to CBD, how it interacts with the skin. Um, we did a specific article with those that offer LED light treatment and the combination of the two products um, and the benefits, not just on the face, actually, uh, for those that have any pain elsewhere in their body. So I think it's great to be able to share the industry publications and you know we've made little pdfs that we send along with our spa partners to kind of share with their guests um i think another thing right now and it really does speak to what you're saying is meeting the guests where they are is we do have um small sizes of all of our products 
So if a guest isn't comfortable because they're not sure where something's coming from when it comes into the room, they can actually purchase a small like travel size, so to speak, and it can be used in the service and then they get to take the rest of it home with them. It's kind of a gift with purchase for an upgrade. Um, it makes the whole upgraded conversation almost go away because they are technically getting something for their efforts. So when it comes to helping people try the products, um, we find that when, when they get the product in their hands and they use it, they almost always come back for that um, resell for them for sure. And then nine times out of 10, they go for that larger bottle. However, that, that smaller sale or that smaller item can sometimes just be that stepping stone for the guest and ultimately for the spa's retail and, and revenue driver. So I would say a mix of, you know, educating the, the client, making them feel comfortable in who's producing the products um, and the experts behind that. And then as well as offering them, you know, different options to make them feel comfortable. But again, you know, the spas have to have that retail component and they have to keep generating, you know, revenue. It's, it's fantastic that you talk about being able to find a way to really have your guests interact with the, the minds behind your company. Yeah, we're really big on that. We love- It's a very, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, that's okay. We, we love, we're, we're a small team, but we are 100% family. And um, I'm so new to this industry still. I've only been in it two years. Um, but the amount that I've learned just because of their experience, I mean, they've literally stood in these therapists, you know, shoes, literally. So I think that helps things resonate really well when I'm talking to um, therapists and estheticians alike, just because of the experience they've had. But yeah, we are lucky. I would agree with you on that. That's great. And then the, the I, and I think it bears repeating and just highlighting again, the gift with purchase is a really smart concept. And to bring that into the treatment room, you know, I, I think that sometimes we get in our own way and we sort of have to have a new, you know, a new shiny toy <laughs> and sometimes it's the old tried and true teddy bear that's the most comforting. And I think it's the same concept. A gift with purchase is such a smart concept. And that you provide that to your, your partners is a very, it's a very generous thing to do. Um, but it's also a very smart thing to do in terms of hooking those guests back in. So, so thank you for that. Thank I'm you. Gonna, absolutely. Um, I think I'm coming to you, Caroline, on the, the tip, the product tip on this. Uh, and I just want to say, Patrick, I, go, I just got a quick update on our Feeding America target. And I don't think I told you, but we committed to providing one and a half million meals for the Feeding America. And we're almost halfway to our goal in just a few short weeks. So uh, thank you to everybody who is uh, supported, of course. Um, so I think our tip, what, what we would want to say is use the tools um, and resources that your um, vendor partner has created and is offering you. And that can be so many. And, and I do want to give an example. Um, uh, Babo launched um, our new e-learning platform in March. And I mean, it couldn't have been perfect timing. Um, I think our CEO, Tim, just had a, a vision, uh, an insight to that because we got it up and ready and launched. And this is um, an app-based learning for on Android, iOS. It, it's 24-7 at the fingertips. So as you were saying earlier on, Patrick, it's about the um, education, engagement, communication, and our e-learning platform is, is enabled to do that. But in terms of resource, we have um, a great example of one of our spa, well, many, but one particular spa partner who signed up to the affiliate program, who has done incredible, but she really ran with the advice we gave her that she was engaging with her, with her customers to help them make the right purchase. After they made the purchase, she reached out to them to help them do the mini facial at home. She would then follow up to get them to book the treatment using the voucher that they had that we'd given them for the $20 off. And post COVID in her first week, she booked 21 appointments um, with the voucher, which was just incredible. So we're very, very proud of her and she's one example. So my tip and the boss tip is use the tools, ask for the support, reach out to your spa vendor partners and say, what can you do to help me? What have you got? Um, and something else I do want to mention as well is 
we created our very own hand sanitizer. You mentioned it earlier as well about a luxury <laughs> hand sanitizer and it smells gorgeous. And we have that as part of our welcome package too. So all of our B2B partners right now have a welcome package when they um, place their first orders, when they're reopening. And again, a resource and a tool to help them be successful. Thank you so much. And I, I love that. Use the tools that, that we have at our, at our fingertips. I'm guilty of always wanting to create something different. So you're talking to my heart when you say that. But yes, I, I know I'm not alone with my, my fellow spot directors. So that's, that's, a, that's great advice. So then, the product tip on the professional or retail side that you're using with your spa partners. Yeah, so uh, at the beginning of the conversation, I talk about uh, the detox energy tr facial treatments, the anti-pollution. Um, and what I wanted to mention about this treatment is at the end of the treatment, we are offering a sample size of one of our retail products for the clients. So it, it linked a little bit of the conversation right before, but I think the retail selling product right now, it's so important. Uh, and we need to, you know, increase our knowledge to sell more retail product, but also, also on the point of like human connection and give exactly what the people need, you know, like to treat them concern and to treat them, uh, yeah, skin needs. Uh, so by having a sm some sample, you know, to give to the clients at the end of the treatment that allow also the conversation between the therapist and, and, the, and the guest. To, to have like more flawless, I, I would say like conversation. Um, as, I, as I say most of the time during my training, uh, do not sell the product, but sell the benefit of the product because this is really what our guests want. It's for them to learn about how to treat, you know, the skin problem, or it could be also our about like the wellness and, you know, feeling, uh, yeah, good. That's great, thank you. Becky, we're, we're tight on time, so your you're one tip. Yes, um, I would say like during COVID, you know, we all have skin issues due to wearing facial masks. So we've coached our spas to ask their guests, if you could change one thing about your skin during this time, what would it be? You know, most of your clients have had some time to think about it and maybe they've noticed some things too. So um, then the therapist can give specific recommendations for product usage at home. Um, a lot of times it's, oh my gosh, I can see, you know, the puffiness now underneath my eyes. So then the therapist can say, well, you need wind down or watermelon aid, which is um, full of, you know, it has a hundred milligrams of CBD, it's a hyaluronic acid base. Um, but um, a lot to, um, Carolyn's point, use the tools that we offer as well, like gift with treatment. We also talked about um, cost efficient add-on treatments. Most of our high biohemp add-ons are anywhere between $10 and $20. So the inflammation recovery that you can get, the benefits that you can get for um, a $10 to $20 add-on is definitely worth it during uh, stressful times. So use those tools as well. Educate is key when it comes to your therapist. If you sell from the heart, then you're not selling at all. You're just recommending because yes. you love it. And that yes. is contagious. When you love something, um, usually a client's like, oh, then I need it. I don't even know why, yes. but just educating them a little bit more and um, speaking from uh, just knowing what you're talking about, ingredients, like, you right. know, watermelon like you know all those amazing greens we all use in our products like slaf yes. sunflower seed oil and sunflower seed oil thank you so much thank you so much becky thank you to all of our panelists uh becky said speak from the heart so i thank you all for joining us today and learning from our, our fantastic team of professionals today uh, join us uh tomorrow we have a town hall tomorrow at 2 p.m on lessons learned um for our ice ball town hall series and we'll have another chat with product pros next Thursday, next Tuesday, July 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday.